On today's podcast, we'll be covering listening at work, so stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. If you're a seasoned vodcast viewer, this vodcast is going to be different from most that you watch. It's based around exactly what the name implies, Warehouse Safety Tips. And since the people in this industry are busy, we know that time is money, so each episode will be as short and to the point as possible. And now, with all that out of the way, let's get to the vodcast. Today's message is a very simple one. Don't be caught not paying attention on the job, specifically not listening. Now, you might think we're saying that on behalf of or to appease management. Keeping management happy is important, but your safety is even more important. So what are a few areas you can focus on? Briefings. If your facility is like others, from the moment you arrive, you're presented with briefings from the previous shifts. Make sure you pay attention to them. Announcements. Much like briefings, announcements come in the form of a person-to-person, via radio, and or address systems. Pay close attention because they could contain everything from lights being left on in the parking lot to potentially hazardous weather approaching and everything in between. Machinery. Whether it's a specific sound a machine makes to alert you of something or something that sounds out of the ordinary, be sure to listen to the machinery that you're working with. Alarms. This can be something as simple as a machine you're working on completing its task or something as extreme as a fire or a tornado approaching. Vehicles. Of all the sounds you'll most likely encounter at your facility, this is one of the most important ones to pay attention to. There's a reason lift trucks and other vehicles have alerts when backing up or horns are sounded while driving. It's to alert you that you need to pay extreme attention. And much like machinery, if you're operating a vehicle, Make sure you're listening to it as well. Doing so could alert you to something like a low fuel or battery or engine trouble. Fellow staff. Throughout your shift, it's likely fellow staff will provide you with info. Make sure you pay attention to what they're telling you. And last but not least, your inner monologue. Although it's not an actual sound that you'll hear with your ears, it's one you should be very aware of. If something's nagging you or just doesn't appear to be right, make sure you listen to your gut. As with most of our tips, this is just a high level look at a few of the things you should be paying attention to. Being a good listener will increase your chances of staying safer at work exponentially. Before moving on, here's a word from one of our sponsors. If you've ever been to or worked in a warehouse, you know just how important safety is to both management and staff. It's almost impossible to go 10 steps without seeing safety tape, angles, signs, and or safety products. It's these items that show us how to be safe and avoid danger in the workplace. And if you're looking for the best products to make this happen, look no further than Mighty Line. Mighty Line floor signs and floor markings offer the best industrial products out there. We're proud to have Mighty Line as the official floor sign and floor marking company for the Warehouse Safety Tips podcast and site. Go to MightyLineTape.com forward slash safety tips to request a sample pack of their incredible safety signs and floor markings. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. If you visit WarehouseSafetyTips.com, you'll find the show notes for this episode and access to all of our blog posts, previous podcasts, advertiser information, and much more. Thank you for listening to Warehouse Safety Tips and have a safe day.